Hey guys, so I am going to do another vena puncture for you guys um, slower at a slower pace than I did the first one. The first one, like I said, we, I was rushed and I just wanted to get something out there for you all to see how I pretty much operate. This one is a little slower, but I can only go so slow um, because when you're so used to doing it, you just do it. So there's really not a slow pace you can go sticking a needle in someone's arm because you really just want to get it done. So I have a willing willing participant here, and what I'm doing is assessing my arm, the arm first, um, without my glove, of course, because this is when the patient first sits down in your chair and you're trying to make them comfortable and you're just conversating with them. And that's what I'm pretty much doing doing here. A lot of the steps you're not going to see because I was just my hands are clean. I did all the necessary precautions um, prior to up to this point. And of course, you can see I'm checking the median, the phallic, and of course the basilic, which is over that um, artery. So of course, I always choose the median. So now that I know where I'm going to go, of course, I want to put my gloves on and uh, get ready to perform the stick. Of course you prep with alcohol. It is air drying while you get your needle, your needle holder and your tube together which is what I'm doing. And the holder I'm going to go over in another video because someone asked me about holding it. How do you hold it and things of that nature. I'm using a 21 gauge. You guys know that's my favorite. And of course you can't see the vein, but of course we do not stick by sight, we stick by feel. And I know exactly where my vein is because I've already prepped the site and I felt it. I use both hands, um, that's something you're going to learn and get comfortable with on your own. I never move my needle, I always pop my tourniquet once my tube is almost filled or halfway filled. Of course we invert our tubes always and pretty much you've performed a stick. And if you heard that click, I use my safety device to um, cap the needle and there's a large biohazard bin to my left. I hold pressure with my pinky. I never put my patients to work and it's really funny when I tell them that because everyone wants to do that. But um, I always apply pressure as many times as possible. Always ask the patient if they're a bleeder. If not, they're pretty much good to go. So I hope you guys like this one more than the other one. Let me know.